Hello and welcome to this part of Simulcode Pro tutorial. In this part I will explain the special topic how to replace an old Simulcode DP device with a Simulcode Pro system. The Simulcode Pro system was introduced by Siemens in November 2004 and the old Simulcode DP 3UF5 devices were available for order until September 2018. If you still have old Simulcode DP devices in use, you should think about a replacement solution for the future. In difference to the old Simulcode DP device, the Simulcode Pro system is a modular system which consists of a basic unit and expansion modules. That's why a one by one replacement solution is not available. At the Siemens Industry Online support, you will find this FIQ on conversion from Simulcode TP to Simulcode Pro. This shows the differences and the points you have to observe. Additionally, it includes a PDF file for the conversion from Simulcode DP to Simulcode Pro system. The conversion PDF includes a full list of components you need to replace a Simulcode DP device with all its functionality. This can be used for a rough conversion without having a closer look to the real application requirements. To reduce costs and also the required space, you should have a deeper look at the real application details. But which application details you have to consider for the Simulcode Pro selection? Let's start with the selection of the Simulcode Pro basic unit. There are two main aspects for the decision of the selection of basic unit. First aspect, the PLC engineering. With the Simulcode Pro V basic unit and the 3UF5 compatibility mode, it's possible to replace Simulcode DP device by Simulcode Pro without need to change PLC engineering. With a lower cost Simulcode Pro S basic unit, you would have to change the hardware configuration and the PLC programming. The second aspect, which definitely would require a Simulcode Pro V basic unit, are the B stable relay outputs. If your old application includes a Simulcode DP device with B stable relay outputs, and at the parameterization they were configured as B stable behavior, it will be necessary to install a Simulcode Pro V basic unit with an additional digital module with B stable relay outputs. If the application does not require B stable behavior of the relays, a Simulcode Pro S basic unit could be an option. Be aware of the number of outputs required for your application. To sum up with the Simulcode Pro V Profibus basic unit, you are more flexible and you do not have to spend time on changes at your PLC system. Now let's check if there are additional expansion modules required for your application. Simulcode Pro basic units include thermistor motor protection, four temperature sensors, PGC type A or PGC binary. In case there was a different sensor type used, like PTC analog or NTC analog configured at the Simulcode DP device, it's necessary to add the temperature module for Simulcode Pro V basic unit or the multifunction module for the Simulcode Pro S basic unit. Both expansion units support PT100, PT1000, KTY83, KTY84, or NTC sensor types. Another Simulcode DP feature which would need an expansion module for the Simulcode Pro system is the external earth hole detection. If there is a 3UL22 transformer wired to the Simulcode DP terminal C1, C2, you would need to install an additional earth hole module for the Simulcode Pro V basic unit or in case of Simulcode Pro S basic unit, the multifunction module. Please take care you also have to replace the 3UL22 by a 3UL23 transformer for the Simulcode Pro Earthfold Monitoring. 
Let's get an overview of the modules you would need. You would need a basic unit, Pro-V or Pro-S, current measuring module in the size of the rated motor current, and related on your application requirements, one expansion module for the temperature sensors or the external ground fault monitoring. For the Simulcode ProS basic unit, this is the multifunction module. For B-stable relay outputs, an additional digital module is available for the Simulcode Pro-V system. In addition, optional operator panels for front door mounting are available for both. The operator panel with display is available for Simulcode Pro-V only. Besides the operation function, you will have access to measurement values, diagnostics and statistics data. So this was a 6 minute summary for the hardware conversion of Simulcode DP to Simulcode Pro system. I hope this will help you with the conversion with a deeper look on your application requirements. At the next video I will show how to convert the existing Simulcode DP parameterization to the Simulcode Pro system using the WinSimulcode DP converter. Many thanks for watching my video.